Once upon a time, there was an emperor who had no hair. Seeking to find a suitable successor to his first king, he decided to find someone from the mass of common people. He sent forth for all the youths of the kingdom and lined up in court. Next, he gave them all a pot with soil and gave them seeds in their hands. He told them to grow the seeds in the soil and show him the results of their tendering the seeds in six months. Based on the result, one of them could become an emperor. Everyone went home with seeds and planted, watered and lovingly take care of them. One boy, however much he tried, unfortunately could not do anything to make the seeds grow into plants. Day by day he watched with a growing sense of despair as the other youths would compare their fast growing plants and say, the best care of plants will make me the emperor. Six months came finally, and then all the boys trooped into the place before the emperor with a baby prince. The emperor surveyed all the plants, all sprouting healthily with bright flowers and healthy leaves. Each boy thought that he stood at the free salt of glory. All except that one boy with only seeds to show for in soil. He stood there petrified that he would incur the anger of the emperor. Suddenly, the emperor called harshly for the boy without a plan. The boy knew then that he would get a tongue lashing. The boy came forward and the emperor asked him fiercely why no plant was growing. The boy trembled but replied, Your Majesty, I tried so hard. To grow a plant from from the sheets, I wore them. I fed them, but it didn't grow. I give them enough sunlight every day. With all my e-words. I am still a failure. The emperor asked, then said, You shall be the new emperor. The boys was thunderstruck. The emperor said, I gave all of you bullet seeds, which if planted, watered. And given sunlight can never grow into plants. But all of you wanted reasons. And in your greed, you lied. And cheated. And obtained new seeds. And pretending that that was your plan. This boy worked very hardly, but he only blamed himself for his failure. Whereas you refused to accept the harsh reality and were dishonest. For his dishonesty, for his honesty and hard work, 
He has won my sympathy and mercy, and He deserves to be the Lord of this land. Ha 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 ha! So, in life, there are many things that you want to accomplish. Maybe some of you have ever told other people about your plans, what you are going to do, or maybe you speak up about certain things and you try to take action of it. We have discussed in my previous few years. So, what is the point of all your thoughts, your deeds? about you say to others or take action so today i want to share about with you about integrity lexical gives definition that integrity means the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles being whole and undivided If you believe that you are yourself as a worthy person, people start to believe in you because of your own honesty. Don't forget, you play a big role in moral values. Believe in what value that you are sure for. Having a strong moral principle and implement it to your life and the every result to your action. Integrity can be understood as the harmony between what you think, what you say, and what you do. These three things are work in life. There is a harmony between those. Then, people will believe that you are a person with integrity. As a student, you can do many things with your own integrity. When you want to do something, and you really want to do. When you are committed to doing a certain thing and you really accomplish it, you really achieve it. When you are given a ta- some task by the lecturer and you really do this job. Those are simple examples of integrity. So, with all the examples that I have given to you, I believe as we are a high education student, maybe most of you have implemented the principle of being integrated, having integrated without you might be realizing it before. And this trait is so useful not only for when you are in higher education but also when you really when you come in the uh, real world or uh, the job world that all of jobs need you demand you to be integrated like i say about what you think What you say and what you do, those three things must be must be in line, must uh, be in a parallel way, so people can find you an integrated person. And what is the advantages of being integrated? That people can might choose you over person who has no integrate integrity so it's one of the most important thing that so let us have integrity from now since we are a higher education student until forever and ever thank you